New Faces of 1937 is on parade with a 15-minute radio preview of its scenes, songs, and celebrities. Joe Penna, Milton Berle, Park Your Caucus, radio's own songbird, Harriet Hilliard, William Brady, New York's newest nightclub sensation, moviedom's amiable villain, Jerome Cowan, and lovely, talented Thelma Lee. We're new faces, going places, healthy, young, and ambitious. New faces, get to places, singing life is delicious. What's so our dough is coffee and cake. Till we get the break, we'll take what we got, and we got what it takes. New faces, new desires, 1938 new points. Soon we'll be high flyers, flying higher to new points. You'll acclaim us when we're famous. Why not now? With new places, going places, we make them a vow. You've been listening to Harriet Hilliard and the chorus singing New Faces from New Faces of 1937. Here's William Brady singing Love is Never Out of Season. Love is never out of season. We can have it all yet. Isn't that swell for me? Isn't that nice for you? Nature must have had a reason to keep love right here on hand. She supplies it on demand. Isn't it swell? Isn't it grand? We know berries won't grow, melons must go whenever there's snow. We know when peaches are blue. And we must do without our oyster stew. But love is never out of season when the scene is set for two. Isn't that swell? I'm so in love. comes Joe Penner, who's chased Goo Goo the Goose right up the ladder of fame. He will now play a scene with Parker. When the berry blossoms bloom, my heart. Hey, Bum-bum. wait a minute, Joe. Stop that shrieking. You're supposed to be an actor. I oh, no. I got a contract to sing, and I'm going to sing. When the... Down in the berry patch, she gave me a kiss. Then I thanked her every kiss, kiss and kiss and kiss. When the bulls make their bullets. And the donkeys dunk their donuts all day through. And when the bear wants to blow my heart and then I'm back. And now, radio's wonder boy, Milton Burr, plays a scene from New Faces of 1937. Come down to Wall Street, my little lambs, and listen to the tale of the ticker. Richard Lane plays the broker. Milton needs more money to back a show and risks his all on the market. Hello? Fine. Thanks. Which? Put it there. Thank you. I got you 100 shares of silver mine at a great price. Great price? 29. <laughs> Why do I always cut it at 29? What is the high for all time? 29. But it'll go, go higher. higher. What is it now? What is it now? 
Oh, boy. Secretary of the Treasury declares an embargo on silver. 50% tax on all those who have it. Is that good? Oh, then bad. What does it say? What does it say? 2,000 shares just sold at 27. 27. Another 1,000 sold at 24. 24. This is the biggest bear rate since 1929. Yes. The bottom is dropping out of everything. Yes. Can you imagine what they'll do to silver? <laughs> Harriet Hilliard and her new screen and radio personality, William Brady, singing Penthouse on Third Avenue from New Faces of 1937. Some folks seek a retreat in the mountains to escape the heat of the town. Some hurry down to the shore. Some folks love a sigh with its fountains. Doville is a place of renown, but we're contented here in the same old atmosphere. Our penthouse on Third Avenue, only a few stories high. Where smoke hides the blue of the sky No roses in bloom Or a fancy blue room It isn't a beautiful view With clothes hanging out there to dry And watching the trains rumbling by but you're satisfied, so am I. A stone's throw away, the rich folks stay, with gardens and artistic bars. But what do we care? They're no happier there than we are. The whistling of boats all night through Still we never fall It's heaven to all Our penthouse On their Broadway's been crammed with theatrical geniuses for many years, but none can top the rehearsal of a show as played by Milton Berle, Park Dukakis, and Jerome Cowan in a scene from New Faces of 1937. It's the usual rehearsal setup of the producer, Robert Hunt, played by Jerome Cowan, the angel, Wallington Wedge, interpreted by Milton Berle, and the company stooge, Park Dukakis. Come into the theater and listen to the boys trying to direct a big-time show. Plunkett, tell them to start the rumba number. I can't wait all day. That's right, Plunkett. Start the rumba number. We can't wait all day. Here I am, Mr. Hunt. Here I am. <clears throat> you are not what we're waiting for. How can I concentrate? How can I create? These interruptions. I thought I told you to stay away till 3 o'clock. But it'll be over by 3. He catches on quick. Uh, what is this? For $5,000, I thought I was getting into the realm of the theater. What do I find? Can't even get into my own rehearsal. Am I a partner in this firm? You're a silent partner. And for a silent partner, you're making too much noise. I'm the artistic end of this firm. You're the business manager. All you do is put up the money. All I do is put up the money. <laughs> Listen, kid. Always remember there are more important things in life than money. That's right. Name one. I will. Huh? For $5,000, he expects us to perform a mackerel. All ready for the rumble, Mr. Hunt. It's about time. Take it away. Yeah, it's about time. Take it away. Oh, 
singing hit songs. That was Thelma Leeds and the gorgeous chorus from New Faces hitting the high spots of the latest rumba number, The Widow and Lakes. Let's leave the rehearsal and follow Burl, Parky, and Cowan into their office. They are still hiring actors when Joe Penner comes into the scene. Joe's wearing a badge with D.A. stamped on it. And I'm afraid the boys think they're being visited by a representative from the district attorney's office. Come right in, sir. Come in. Thank you. Parky, seat the gentleman. What's the matter, Don? He know how to sit down? A chair, a chair. How does it go out? Well, I... I... He got one. Yeah. Something to drink. Oh. Well, all right. I'd like to have them all at milk. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. Uh, you're from the DA, I believe. Yes, sir. That's me. Mr. Hunt, uh, I know you're a busy man, so I, I guess I'd better get started. <clears throat> Boot! Boot! Marching up and down again. Boots. Boots. Do we owe anybody for any boots? Boots. Uh, just... <laughs> uh, don't you think we ought to get down to business? You mean I'm hired? Oh, gee, thanks, Mr. Hunt. Uh, did you use my girl Susie, too? Aren't you from the district attorney's office? District attorney? No. No, I, I'm an actor. Yeah, dramatic academy. Class of 36. I got a diploma here, Susie. He's an actor. <laughs> 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 it's peckin' time. The roof of you a TNT. I'm Look, for hundreds, no matter what our place, just peck, get a 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 peck, get a